Okay, so I've had these boxes over here for too long. They've been sitting in my house, but fortunately, they're actually something cool. So those are my wheels. Um, they're 19 by 10 and a half wheels that are gonna be going on my BMW M3. Really stoked to show you guys these wheels. I've really hated how the stock wheels look. Um, I wanted to go with something along the lines of like DVSs, but I just, I couldn't justify spending so much goddamn money on wheels. Uh, I went with a set of Apex wheels. Um, really stoked on the price and how they look. So we'll see once they're on the car, how they look and everything and how the fitment is. But let's uh, go put these, load these up in the 4Runner and get going. I just had a realization that I could push these across the carpet. A lot easier than carrying them. This is absolutely crazy. So I put the order in for the wheels. They called me, said, hey, those are back orders. I reordered, they worked with me and I couldn't find any wheels. I selected another pair. Turns out those ones were, one of them was run flats and one of them wasn't. So those didn't work. Then I talked to the guy, he fixed it all. And I was, it was like, okay, cool. He said, they'll be here in about three days. Went in there in three days and guess what? They ordered it. They ordered the wrong size, so I had too tall of a tire. Wasn't gonna work, even though I told them a different size. That, I, that guy didn't work with me at all, so I left kind of irritated. So I went back online and ordered it. Then I ordered another set, and it turned out those were discontinued. And I was like, God damn it. So I worked with another guy, and this guy was like, okay, we can go ahead and order you these. This time, I double-checked with the guy. I was like, hey, I just wanna make sure that these are the right size. Double-check with him, I get there, here we are. So I ordered 255 to the front, or 255 30 and 275 30 19s, and they got 305 30 19s. And I'm like, dude, the size isn't even close. How'd you guys do that? But so I had to go through different things like back order just continues. I already told you guys a little bit about it, but so I'm hoping today is the actual day of how to get these wheels put on because I'm tired of having the boxes in my house. I'm tired of calling them and figuring out sizes. Like I just at this point, I'm about to just put like, give me like a 700 tire. Like I'll literally just put monster truck springs on, or I'll put up monster truck shocks on here and we'll we'll be good to go. I'm getting annoyingly patient with this. I gotta, I gotta relax a little bit. I just wanna have these wheels on, but I know it'll be worth it once they're on. Hopefully, hopefully there's good fitment and everything and they look good. Hopefully I like them. So, guess what, Bree? They got the right ones. They actually have the right size tires. Wow! It only took three times. I know I sound like an asshole right now. It's just like no, but you literally drove. Like I've, the I've had a times. I've had a ton of patience, and like it gets to a certain point where you're like, you're like, oh, I just can't do it anymore. Like, wow, how is this still happening? So like, I'm not trying to be a dick. It's just like it was one of those scenarios where like. It, I just couldn't believe it was happening over and over and over. Yeah, like, I think it'd be different if it was only one time, but it happened, like, this is the... Oh, I'm just feeling bad. I'm feeling, like, guilty, like, no, I'm being no. mean. Where do I Here, your hair. Okay. Got it all figured out? <laughs> no, probably never. <laughs> anyway, you want me to drive? Yes. <laughs> You just leave your car here? Yeah. Okay. So I got to give a shout out to Bree right here for driving every single time. Because there's been a couple times that she's been driving. 
first of all, you drive super slow, which <laughs> I appreciate it for the sake of my wheels. But like I was going like 35 on the way here. I'm trying and to. And <laughs> sure, you know I have precious cargo, so I'm trying to be very careful. But I do appreciate her <laughs> taking the time to come down with me. Yeah, best. I don't like you. <laughs> I'm not stealing. Someone's on me. <laughs> oh, G35. I see you. I seen you. <laughs> the car explodes. This forerunner has, I don't know why I'm yelling, I just felt like it, but this has, this has 252K. It's got 252,603 right now. So like the only thing that I really want to know right now is are we getting coffee? Why is it always about coffee? Why can't it be about me? That was a horrible signature. That was terrible. <laughs> Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. I hate that you have to like do real shit. Like as an adult, like you have to like, like I gotta go, we gotta go take care of taxes and shit. Ugh, like, we have to go get a PO box because taxes. We have to go get a PO box because her company was set up as a sole proprietor. It needs to be like we're gonna set it up as an S corp. So step one is get a PO box. Step two is text our um, CPA. Is that what there you go. I could not. Called? I blanked. So after we do that, then she has a bunch of crap she's gotta pay and a bunch of money she's gotta spend. Fun. Sixty-five dollars a dollar. So we ended up we ended up actually being able to just renew my current PO box and add her company to that. So or use the same one. Well hopefully. We'll find out. But as of right now, that's what we're doing. Makes it a lot easier. Cuts the expenses a little bit. Good man, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? Good. Hey, so I got a question for you. I've been I want to do something forever and never have and I probably never will until I actually just say let's do it and get it done. Um, the, the easiest way to, that I can think of to do it, and I, I've kind of instructed people in the past to do it, um, is like if you go in there planning to interview someone, um, you have to also plan that they're going to mess up, there's going to be a lot of cutting back and forth, there's going to be a lot of starting over. Um, so with that being said, the easiest way to do it is to like eliminate that interview and make it more of like make it more scripted so in other words you may have the owner say two or three sentences about it instead of interviewing them five questions and having that interview being a, being a 15 minute interview all right sounds good all right man you have a good one all right <gasps> where is she oh, it's parked on the side. like it's over there and, and oh. like i can't see it oh they parked in the same spot Oh shit, it looks oh, good. Oh, oh my, my god. god. It's, oh my oh, god. Oh, it looks so good. It looks fire. Oh. Oh. Can you pull it out? Do you have the key? Or you don't have the key? That's what she's at. You do it. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, can I, I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pay though. Yeah, I'm going to. <laughs> What do you think? What a difference. Look at how much these little pops. Oh my gosh. <gasps> wow. Oh, I was about to get this. There's like a little something. I was like, is that it? Like, that better not be there. Dang, those tires look so new too. Yeah. 